Hello, and welcome to GVSU Libraries tutorial on subject searching. In this video, you will learn how to save time by knowing how to conduct a subject search, where to find subject terms, and how to use article abstracts. While doing research, a lot of time is wasted sifting through articles, trying to determine whether or not they're relevant to your topic. For example, let's do a keyword search in Academic Search Ultimate, a popular interdisciplinary database. We can find this database by clicking on Databases under the search bar and searching Academic Search Ultimate. Let's search the phrase Global Warming. This brought us over 49,000 results. While keyword searches look in all fields, subject searches look in only one the subject field. The subject field basically lists the topics found in a given article, so searching this field will only return articles that address your topic. For example, using the keyword food deserts, we get over 2,700 entries. If we do this same search, but as a subject search, we get 237. This means that there were over 2,500 results that weren't necessarily going to help us with our research. Think about subject terms as signs in a grocery store. If you're looking for yogurt, you might not find a sign that says yogurt, but you will find a sign that says dairy. In this case, dairy is the subject term that the store uses to group all dairy items together. Knowing which words a store uses will help you find exactly what you need. Likewise, knowing which words a database uses to describe your subject will help you find what you need. You can find these words, called subject terms, within the database itself, but they aren't always found in the same place. Some databases, such as MLA, list their subject terms in a thesaurus. Others, like JSTOR, use the phrase, browse subject. Academic Search Ultimate lists theirs under subject terms at the top of the page. If we were to search for the phrase food deserts here, we'll be able to see the terms used by the database to describe our topic. Clicking the term directs us to a page that defines how the database uses the term, broader subjects to use, and related subjects. Since there are no narrower terms listed, we know that food deserts is the most precise term to use in this database, so using it in our subject search will yield the best results. If you don't see a direct link to a thesaurus, you can still find a database's subject terms for your topic. Just do a regular keyword search for food deserts. and you'll see the search terms listed under each result. However, they're only useful if the article is useful. So what's a quick way to find out if an article is relevant? Use the abstract. An abstract is a short summation of an article's subject matter, purpose, and conclusion. If you're unsure of whether an article is going to be useful to you, read the abstract. It saves you from having to read the entire article only to discover it didn't have the information you needed. Still have questions about subject searches? Ask your professor or contact a library at one of our service desks through chat by making an appointment with a peer consultant at the Knowledge Market or by getting in touch with your subject librarian.